Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning, and in this video I'm going to give a brief demonstration on how to add questions to a survey module or a questionnaire module in Type 03. This is actually the PB survey module. You can see on the screen the Community Care East York website, a short survey that has two questions. Now surveys can actually have multiple questions and they can actually be multiple pages and you can do things like have progress bars as users progress through the survey have back buttons and all that kind of thing. Questions can also be set as being optional or required. In this case, both are optional, but let's fill them both in. Let's say my favorite color is blue and my favorite friends are Bob and Jane. And submit, and I uh, will get a thank you page that says thank you for taking the survey. At this point, the results are emailed to the site administrator, and that's optional. They do or do not need to be emailed, and they're also stored in the database. And that's actually very handy because you can then export a spreadsheet of the survey results. So if you have, say, 10,000 people who take a survey, or 50, you can export a spreadsheet of all the results and run analysis on them as required. So let's go back and reset it. I'm just going to another page so it forgets about me. And let's add a question to this survey. Now to do that, I need to be in the back end, and I've already logged in, so I'm just going to bring up another window here. And uh, you can see, let's go up to the top. I'm in the page tree here, looking at the Community Care East York website. Now I'm logged in as a full administrator, so I have a full admin menu on the left. And I have some controls that you may or not may not see, depending on your administrative level. Let's go down to that page that I created called Survey 1. And you can see on it, there's a piece of text that says Survey, and then there's a module, a plugin. If I go and look at that plugin, um, there's a number of configuration for the survey. Uh, specifically int of interest is the mail tab where you define where the emails would go. Um, what happens on completion? Does it display a message or does it go to another page? Is there a close button? Navigation, should there be a back button? Numbering, is there a progress bar? Etc. There's a number of functions like that. Uh, on this general tab we actually can define where the questions come from. So I may want to store all my questions for instance in another folder. In this case I left it blank and it just means they'll be coming from the page itself. And we could do a different templating. Once this is in, though, you really don't have to do much with that. Let's go look at adding questions. So what I need to do is questions are actually in list view. So I'm going to click on list. And so if I'm on list view and I'm looking at the survey page, we can see a section called questionnaire items, which has two questions in it. What is your favorite color and who are your best friends? There's also results and answers, but we don't need to worry about those. Setting up a question will look after that for us. So let's create a new question. I'm going to click the new record button here. And now, by default, questions are hidden, so I'm going to unhide it. And I have a choice of all kinds of different types of questions I can answer, whether it's a multiple answer with checkboxes or a select box, single answers if they're true or false or yes or no questions, multiple answers if they're open-ended questions that add text. We can even do some, some math-type questions as well. Um, let's select a simple open-ended comment box. And when I do that, some of the fields will change because depending on what kind of question you have, um, there could be different things required. So the page is updated now for me. And let's put a question. Uh, let's keep it simple and along the same lines. Tell us about your best friend. Question alias is a field that is more descriptive for us, and I don't necessarily need to use it. I'm not, not going to. I can select whether the question is a required question or not. Uh, meaning if it's not filled in, the, the user wouldn't be able to progress. Subtext is more descriptive information for the question, so, um, uh, you know, give us some details. And a default value. If we wanted to put a default value, we could. Let's put enter your answer here. And there's some opp opportunities for styling, which I'm going to ignore. I save the question. And now if I go back and look at the front end and refresh that, we now have a new question that has all the items that we entered. Now notice it, went, it became the first question. We can easily change that if we want to. If I go back to list view again here, if I want that, for instance, to be the third question, I'll, I can just hit the down arrow and the down arrow again, and now it's the third question. So that, in a nutshell, is how to add questions please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. On the demo.ca, we actually have an example of another survey module, um, as well as a feedback form if you have any questions. Thank you.